This building is probably one of the most important buildings in the history of the American auto industry. It was built in two phases in 1928 and 1936 by General Motors. They were both designed by Albert Kahn, who was the great factory architect of that era in Detroit. And you could really say that this building was where the very discipline of automotive design, which we now teach today, was developed and nurtured. The V16, the first fully automatic transmission, safety glass, the list of automotive technologies goes on and on. They also developed the world's first heart-lung machine, the first room-size air conditioner. There was just this incredible drive for innovation. The energy in this building just must have been astounding. All of these people creating everywhere. General Motors bought the Renaissance Center and announced that that was going to become its new corporate headquarters and they were going to move all of the activity from here down to the Renaissance Center. During that period, it was essentially dark for 10 years. You know, it was very daunting uh, when you walked into this building <laughs> at the time that it was vacant. You know, the vision was to have middle school, high school, college, graduate students all studying art and design on a single site. You know, we had this idea. It seemed a little crazy. <laughs> Alfred Tomlin told me I was out of my mind, but look, it's all come to pass. Alfred Taubman very quickly became the biggest champion of this project. He became the major donor. His name is on the building now. There was one more piece to the vision as it developed, and that was to have creative businesses in the building as well. Shinola coming into the building is the complete fulfillment of the vision of this project. What could make more sense than having this continuum of education starting in middle school up through graduate school, but then actually having businesses in the building, businesses that could serve as role models for the students who were studying in the building. We are trying to encourage our students to do good and beautiful work and to go out and do useful things in the world.